This will be a quick tutorial on how to turn on and off the autofocus feature. Uh, on the solar system and the scenery mode, the autofocus comes up automatically on the left hand side of that screen. But in the stargazing mode, it doesn't come up automatically. So this quick tutorial is going to show you how to turn the autofocus manual autofocus on and off in stargazing mode. First, you open the C-Star and connect, and then you're in the app, and this is what the main screen looks like. You're going to click on the stargazing icon. Once you click on the stargazing icon, this screen comes up where you can search for objects, but we don't want to search for objects. We want to turn on the autofocus or off, on or off. So we're going to click the button at the bottom that says skip. The next screen that comes up, up looks like a stargazing kind of map. But um, from here, we're going to click the three little red dots up in the top right hand corner to open up the, some additional features. Now I've enlarged the next screen so you can just see that this is the top portion of the, the screen after you click those three red dots. It's kind of funny, my initials are MF. So when I first saw this, I thought, oh wow, it's pretty smart, it knows me. But nope, that stands for manual focus. So we're going to turn that on or off right here. Now you'll see that we've turned on the manual focus. And down below on the left, you will see the controls for the focusing. And this little feature here is a bonus gee whiz. Um, maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. Uh, while you're imaging, there's all these little icons on, down the right hand side of the screen and the manual focus buttons on the left. If you click this button right here while you're imaging, those will all disappear and you'll see the full screen of your image as it's working. Um, then you click it again and it will turn those control features back on the screen. So use that to toggle on and off so that you can see the images that you're creating as they create without all of the diversion of these icons. While we're talking about the autofocus and turning it on to do manual or automatic, here's how you set the automatic settings for the focus. Uh, once you figure out what focus is on your device, it's nice to set a, a starting point for the autofocus to do without you having to do it manually. And this is how you do that. Um, the computer the computer inside the C-Star will try and do this, but you can set a default um, area for it to start its autofocusing procedures. So from the home screen, you just click on the C-Star menu to get to the settings. This is what the settings screen looks like. To set the focus default, you're going to click on this button that says focus down in the bottom left. It's really in the center of your screen. I've just enlarged it to fit on my screen a little better for visibility purposes. So click on focus. Once we click on that focus button, it brings up this screen. And this is where we change that default focus setting. It shows at the top our current one and then right underneath that it has that little color default. You can change that number there. So if you find that yours is frequently focusing at a different number than that, you can change it here. And then that changes the point of start. I think that's what that stands for. I'm not sure if it's point of start or point of shoot. I'm not sure but uh, that's where the focusing starts. And so when you do the autofocus, it says this is probably the ideal location, but look around this 
area for it to be focal and in, in focus. So that's where it starts. Uh, it, and the little fine print underneath it says it represents the position where bright stars appear clearest and smallest in size for bright stars in stargazing. Autofocus will start focusing at this position. So modify it with care according to the actual focusing effects. And so this could be different for everybody and their devices. Another thing we have noticed is that this number can change depending on circumstances. So if it's really hot, that focal length could be different. Um, if it's cold, the focus position can change. So check this occasionally and update the default. So once you've changed this default setting, and you go back to stargazing, that's where the autofocus begins looking for its search. I hope I made that clear. It's kind of hard to explain and recording is kind of hard. Uh, you have thoughts in your head, but they don't always come out of your mouth the same way you're thinking of them. So hopefully that was clear. If not, please send me questions and I'll try and clarify what I'm talking about. This image may help clear it up too. When you go back to the stargazing mode, you see the autofocus or the manual focusing controls on the left. There's a number right there in the middle, and that is your default number. So that's where it's telling the C star that that is probably where it's in focus. And so when it tries to do its autofocusing, it will start there and it will go up in number and then down in number and try and get something close to that range to get it in complete focus. Here's another bonus tutorial. Um, when you open that settings page where we clicked on the focus button, right above that is the volume level. So sometimes you put your C star out at night and it will tell you when something, it, is doing things like the object is in center and it's beginning to image it will say that and this is a volume control for that so if it's happening in the middle of the night you don't really want it to be loud and wake your neighbors up and telling them that you've centered an object in your screen so this is where you can change the volume of that you can even mute it so it doesn't make any noise at all uh, we do like to use it um, because then we can hear it while we're indoors controlling it. I can hear what it's doing outside, but there are circumstances where you maybe wouldn't want it to be loud or you'd even want to have it on mute. So this is where you change the volume level. Okay, so that's our brief tutorial on setting the focus. We went over turning autofocus on and off, as well as changing the default as to where it starts its position of trying to find true focus. Um, we've also included two bonus tutorials. Um, maybe they seem pretty obvious, but when you're looking at the screen, sometimes you can miss things and that are really obvious, but you just breeze past them while you're doing things and you don't notice them. But hopefully these are helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know, and we're wishing clear skies to everybody. Have a good night.